Hey, what's up, guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. Looking at the, the sun over here via the Soho Lasco C3 instrument. All of the activity you see going on here are recent strong M-class solar flares with some Earth-directed CMEs. The sun has sent out a flurry of interplanetary shock waves, and some of those shock waves were absorbed by planet Earth, creating some spectacular auroras that we'll, we'll come back and take a look at here in just a moment. I also have some more incredible video footage of unidentified flying objects near the International Space Station. These two that you're about to see in this video discovered by Mary Hall were as the Suez was docking with the space station. And these two objects came out of nowhere, coming very close to the, the ISS. We'll come back and take a look at that here in just a moment. But first over here at the homepage of the website, here's a sneak peek at some of the auroras that have been generated recently from all of this very strong solar activity that we just saw over here at the SOHO Lasco C3 instrument. This photo is out of Kakordak, Greenland once again taken by Katie. This was on the night of September 16th and there were auroras and a geomagnetic storm on the night of the 16th and one of those CMEs that we just saw from the SOHO Lasco C3 instrument made contact with Earth's magnetic shields generating some spectacular auroras on the night of the 16th and also on the night of the 18th. I have footage from both of those nights. The first photos once again by, by Katie out of Greenland from the night of the 16th. Checking in on the GOES X-ray flux over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center, you can see a very large solar flare here in the last 12 hours. Nearly an X-class solar flare. That was an M8 class solar flare, partially Earth-directed. Looking at the Schumann resonance, you can see more spikes here just recently within the last 10 hours. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano. Earthquake activity on the seismograph over here at the west boundary location in the, the northwestern quadrant of the supervolcano. Other than that, pretty quiet at the supervolcano caldera have a meteor to share with you guys that was sent in here recently from a ring door cam by rusty parker not sure of the location but check this out you're going to see a meteor appear very quickly right there moving through the sky i'm going to zoom in we're going to take a, a closer look this was on the night of september 19th of, of 2023 just before midnight here's a closer view of the the bright fast meteor once again detected by rusty's ring doorbell camera captured a meteor in the nighttime sky. I'd like to give a big shout out to Amy888. She's the, the newest Blue Star member. If you guys would like to become a, a Blue Star member, you can find the, the links to do so down below in the description box. And I also pinned a comment in the comment section. And I thank you guys in advance. Going back to the interplanetary shock waves that we've seen here recently, going through the, the solar system detected by planet Earth. Here's the most recent solar data. Here's looking at the Earth-facing side of the sun. There's the, the M8 solar flare in the last 12 hours. And this is the location of the, the very strong M8 solar flare. Right there it is. Looking at the flare, you're going to see it right there there. I paused it on the, the M8 solar flare. That was a big one. And back to the SOHO Lasco C3 instrument. Once again, the, the sun has been producing a large amount of huge CMEs and strong M-class solar flares. Some of that activity is Earth-directed, sending shock waves throughout the entire solar system. Here's a close-up view from the SOHO Lasco C2 instrument. Same spacecraft, just a much closer perspective. This is the ionosphere D region right there. It was re reacting to one of those M-class solar flares. And here's a look at the sky above Greenland. Photo, once again, sent in by Katie out of southern Greenland. Thank you, Katie. Really appreciate that. And here is a clear indication that the sun and the earth are playing tag. The, the skies above earth change all kinds of different colors from green to purple to red. In fact, I have more video footage of auroras, some photos and video. The first photos were sent in by Katie out of Greenland right down here in southern Greenland, sent in by Katie. This is another photo that she shared with me of some beautiful auroras from the night of September 16th of 2023 above her location. She sent me two photos. That was the first one, and here's the second one. And these were some absolutely beautiful photos sent in by Katie. These are unedited, by the way. I have done absolutely nothing to these except share them with you guys. Awesome photos, once again, by Katie out of southern Greenland, going from Greenland to East Bethel, Minnesota. Video footage submitted by Ben Johnson from the night of September 18th of 2023 when we had yet another geomagnetic storm. He was able to see the auroras from Minnesota looking to the north. The video footage attempted to pick up some of the colors in the sky, but as you can see, it's a little bit overly pixelated. But if 
you look real close, you can see the, the sky was indeed changing colors. This was around 11 o'clock at night from his location in East Bethel, Minnesota. And you can see the sky was purple and even red at times, very low on the horizon. He was able to see this activity much better than it showed up in the video footage. I tried to pull it forward the best I could. And yes, I did edit these videos here to try to pull forward the, the color. You could just barely see the, the purple and red, but either way, that is an indication that there was indeed aurora activity that was visible from Minnesota. I have an image I want to share with you guys sent in by Nelson Jenks, who is also a Blue Star member. This is from the Parker Solar Probe, and this is of a CME, a close-up view of a CME. It goes back to September 5th of 2022, and that is a spectacular view from the, the Parker Solar Probe. And if you look real close, you can see some amazing detail inside this coronal mass ejection. And once again, this is an up-close view of a CME in action from the Parker Solar Probe from back about a year ago. I want to take you guys now up to the International Space Station. This awesome video footage was sent in by Mary Hall, who made this observation on September 15th. Okay, here we go. Over here on the right, you're going to see the capsule slowly approaching the International Space Station. Once again, on September 15th of 2023. Watch over on the left-hand side of the screen. You're going to see two objects come out of nowhere at a very high rate of speed getting very close to the capsule as it's getting ready to dock with the International Space Station. Watch up here at the top. She has an arrow pointing at this object that's moving very fast right there, enters the field of view and exits the field of view in probably less than, what, a second. Now down below the lower left hand, moving left to right, you're going to see another object, very high speed object right there that goes in front of the capsule as it's getting ready to dock with the International Space Station. Incredible video footage. Once again, notice by Mary Hall. And these next segments are modified versions of just the objects as they were entering the field of view. And I, I slowed them down even slower so we could get a little better look at possibly what these things were. They were definitely something that had mass moving through the, the field of view of the International Space Station as the capsule was slowly getting closer and closer to the space station. These two objects came out of nowhere. And again, they were moving very fast. I don't know what they were. Just some more incredible video footage noticed by Mary Hall from the International Space Station live cam. This is an inverted format. Light is dark, dark is light. You just saw the, the object at the top, and then there's another one down here at the bottom. You're going to see across the field of view. These next segments are of the object that went across the bottom of the field of view, and there it is right there. These are just enhanced formats. I was trying to pull forward any possible features, and again, it was moving way too fast to, to do that, but there was clearly something there that entered the field of view that went right in front of the, the capsule as it's slowly making its way towards the International Space Station. Here it is in an inverted format. Light is dark, dark is light. Clearly something there that was very close to not only the space station, but the capsule itself. Thanks for the photos and videos, guys. Keep them coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website. You can always find link down down below in the description box. Look for this red banner that says, have a large video. It's a Dropbox. Drag and drop your video into the Dropbox. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day, and be safe out there.